Our top story, week three of high school football season already across the area. Three hand injuries so far, one in West Texas resulting in death. Kate Key's Tori Bean spoke with the doctor today, explaining all the telltale signs of concussions. Neil, with students hitting the field once again, doctors at the Christus Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Institute are working to make sure parents and coaches know the signs of a head injury and how to treat them. Dr. Randy Williams says they see about 10 children a week for sports related head injuries. The concussion is, it's the, the head stops and the brain keeps moving and it bruises itself when it hits the, the side of the skull and there's no way to, to really stop that. He says after years of research, a single way to prevent concussions hasn't been found, but there are precautions schools can take to help reduce the chance of severe injuries. For all of our athletic coaches do go through um, training for concussion, uh, to recognize concussion and to treat concussion. David Chenault with Henderson ISD says the student's safety is important. We follow the, per the concussion protocols very strictly. That's why they partnered with UT Health and make sure any coach or trainer that walks on the field is trained. We can't prevent all accidents ha from happening. There are injuries that are going to happen at one time or another. We can do the most that we can to prevent those accidents. Prevention is really the key. Dr. Williams says you may not be able to prevent a concussion, but you make sure you know the signs of a head injury. You need to be educated about those signs. Uh, hopefully you can get your kids, if they're playing UIL sports, the school is required by state law, by Natasha's law, to have a system set up for concussion evaluations. Signs of a concussion include the player appearing groggy, they're stumbling around, and they may complain of a headache. You're so adamant about if the kid, if you think they have a concussion, you pull them out um, until you can get a full assessment. Uh, it's just not worth that risk. Dr. Williams says making sure the players are safe is the most important thing. Dr. Randy Williams says if your child was checked out at a game, but you are still concerned, take them to your family doctor or the ER to be checked out. In studio, Tori Bean, KTK News.